Oh my goodness, just look at how gorgeous Kokomi is. Oh, sorry everyone, this is a children in video, so let's talk about the character. Now, obviously, look, I'm busy with work, so I haven't had a lot of time with her, so getting Shalonen meant that I wanted to do the stupidest thing possible. That is using Raiden Shogun C6 and Shalonen C2 that gives elemental burst cooldown reduction. And you know what this means. On my channel, we're gonna do the stupidest thing possible, and this is why I love Shalonen immediately. Just being able to have a bit of a different playstyle is so refreshing. So, here in the background whilst I was busy farming for Shalonen's materials you can see she's only like level 60 I've already seen like how fun this is you can see my Raiden gets a lot of energy she immediately has her burst ready but because she's at c6 she can trigger and reduce the elemental burst cooldown for everyone else and then Shalonen reduces it so Kucho Sara gets a ton of energy she's ready Raiden's ready and the cycle just keeps on and continues and continues now obviously you can alternate between Shalonen's elemental burst and the Hida's E ability, that's probably how you would play this in practice, but just, it's just crazy if you think about it, like what Shalonen is providing is like Reshret, she gives you an elemental bonus, she provides you consistent healing, and obviously now at C2, you have the ability to reduce elemental burst cooldown for your Electro characters, and give them a massive amount of energy, like on, on a whole, that is like so much packed into a support character's kit and it really is insane because if you need, if your energy requirements are less, for instance like on a character especially like Kujo Sara, the amount of extra damage that you can pull out or just get in is, is just absolutely crazy. You can think for instance of Clorand or some of the other Electro characters that want to burst very very often and very very quickly. If you combine this with Aggravate then oh you just have one wicked support in Shalonen. So whilst I'm showcasing Raiden Shogun here because of the elemental burst cooldown synergies, I think in general if you're playing C2 Shalonen and Aggravate teams, it's you're gonna just have a very very good time. Now I, I will admit, look guys, I've been very busy today at work, so I haven't seen what anyone else has done with Shalonen. I'm pretty sure nobody has thought to do elemental burst cooldown stacking, so that's probably going to be a unique thing for me on the channel. Um, but I've got no idea what the market or what everyone else is thinking of the character. From my personal perspective, um, as someone that's literally only had about 40 minutes or so um, since logging in, and um, I've kind of rushed also the best footage here, I, I can honestly tell you that just from my first impressions, she is really, really crazy. And it's kind of fun. I, I love the fact that I can take an existing playstyle and completely change it. I can completely change the order of operations because I can now do extra things with Shalonen. Now, admittedly, at C2 you get more like Hydro damage bonus if you're using Hydro characters, which is kind of boring. It's the same with the Pyro characters, although with the Cryo characters and an extra crit damage, that is something that I want to experiment with Ayaka because it means that you could potentially in certain scenarios just get rid of Kazuha and use Shalonen Kokomi, Shenhe, Ayaka, we'll, we'll see how the map still plays out, but if I get this level of support from Shalonen, then it's absolutely crazy. And I think that extra healing that you're getting from Shalonen, just, just, it just really helps solidify a team like this, because in the past I, I love playing with Raiden, I love playing with Yai, but I've always had the problem of who's going to heal them, so with Yai Miko, Sidrun had has been like a beautiful answer to that but on the other hand I actually kind of like um, Kokomi more with Yaimiko because then I can trigger more like Hyper Bloom and stuff it's it sometimes it can get very very complicated but Shalonen really solves a very very nice beautiful niche here and she works with all of the Geo characters so certainly massive power creep from Hoyo's side look in terms of the overworld I like the fact that I can skate downwards, I like Shalonen's mobility, I'm absolutely going to try and bug it like we do with, um, uh, what do you call it, Muolani and Kachina's elemental bursts, uh, elemental skills, so that we can do infinite roller skating, so hopefully we can get that right, I know there's been some patches and stuff, but 
look forward to hopefully a showcase of that in the future but other than that yeah the character seems pretty cool from a combat perspective now in keeping with yesterday's video when it comes to personality and character presentation and consistency with the logic of what the game tries to present and all that stuff i don't have the answer yet all i can say is i am just jamming to the to the tune of shalom and it's been in this very short time that I've had to play with it, been incredibly fun. So hopefully you guys can also enjoy it. I know C2 is very, very steep, but hey, that's the benefit of saving up and yeah, just being conservative with your Primo gems. All right, thanks for watching and see you guys again. Cheers.